بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام کیسے ہیں سب لوگ ٹھیک ہیں جی میں ٹھیک ہوں الحمد للہ الحمد للہ شکر الحمد للہ السلام علیکم سر سر میری آواز سفیشنٹ ہے اس سے زیادہ اونچا بولنے کی ضرورت نہیں ہے نو سر سر ٹھیک ہے بالکل لیٹس گو لیٹس آج جی آج نے کتنے لوگ رہ گئے سر ہاف کلاس رہ گئی ہے ہاف ابھی پریزنٹ ہے ہم دو منٹ میں چیک شروع کرتے ہیں عائشہ انظر آپ آگے ہو کلاس میں جی سلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام تو شہزاد ہے عائشہ ان کی ہے اور السلام علیکم سر وعلیکم السلام السلام روم ہے آپ نے ٹی بی ملک گھوم لگا نو سر وہ بس ایکسیڈنٹلی ایسے ہو گیا تو میں نے انیشیل ایڈریس جو ہے نا وہ اپنے نیم کے میں نے کچھ نہیں دیا ٹھیک ہے سر وہ سلائڈ میں نے سینڈ کی ہے اصل میں آج ہی مارننگ ٹائم ہے کیونکہ میں اسکول ایکٹیویٹیز میں بہت بزی تھی آج کل ایڈمیشن ہو رہے ہیں ہمارے رجسٹریشن ہو رہی ہے نائنتھ کلاس کی تو کچھ میری اور بھی ڈیوٹیز تھیں اسکول کے کام میں تو اس میں میں بہت ہی زیادہ بزی تھی تو اب میں نے ان کی نا ایک سمری بھی پیش کی اپنے دور پہ تو میں نے کہا وہ شیئر کر دوں گی ابھی تھوڑا سا اس بارے میں سر میں ابھی ٹاپک تو نہیں شروع ہوا لیکن یہ بتانا چاہ رہی تھی کہ اس میں نا تھوڑی پرابلمس جو فیل ہوئی ہیں نا وہ یہ تھا کہ اس آرٹیکل کو کرنے سے پہلے نا ہم لوگوں کو پوسٹ اسٹرکچرزم ماڈرنزم اور یہ جو ڈسکورس انیلسز ہے اس کی کمپلیٹ انفارمیشن ہونی چاہیے تھی یعنی کہ ان کا بیک گراؤنڈ نالج ہو نا تو اپنے طور پہ تو میں نے ان کو مطلب کچھ چیزوں کو مین مین کو اسٹڈی کر کے اس کو پریپیئر کیا ہے لیکن ویسے میرا جو سب کو فیل ہو رہی تھی نا پرابلم ایمبیگیوٹیز میں فیل ہو رہی تھی اس کی بیسک ریزن جو ہے نا وہ دو تین چار فیکٹر مجھے نظر آئے ہیں ایک تو یہ تھا کہ یہ انترو گرافی جو ہے انترو گرافی ایز اے سبجیکٹ ہم اس کو سلائیڈ اوپن کر کے بات کرتے ہیں ابھی مجھے میں ڈاؤن لوڈ کر رہا ہوں ابھی جیسے حریف صاحب یہ بھی اپلوڈ ہوئی ہے 
मुझे सदा साबित आप बताएं कि आपने तीन दफा भेज दिया तो कौन सा मैं चूज करूं फाइनल कौन सा सदा साबित अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम सर वो मुझे लगता है एंड नहीं हुई इसलिए तीन दफा वो जी हेलो सदा साबित सर सेंड की थी, थी मुझे लगा जैसे ना सेंड नहीं हुई तो लेटेस्ट वन को कंसीडर कर लूं Yes, ऐसा ही होगा ना क्योंकि सब कुछ तो डाउनलोड मैं नहीं कर सकता ना ठीक हो गया आपकी लेटेस्ट फोन कर लेते हैं और इसके अलावा जी मैं ये वन बाय वन ओपन करूंगा और शेयर करता जाता हूं फिर देखते हैं कि आप लोगों के जो इनपुट है डेफिनेटली स्कॉलर लोग हैं आप लोगों ने बड़ा कमाल किया होगा मेरी एक्सपेक्टेशन से ज्यादा अच्छे निकलेंगे यार तो मेरे पास आयशा अंजर आप मुझे जरा क्रैक करने आपके पास लिस्ट थी आयशा आप बात सुन रही हो जी जी सर जी सर अच्छा मेरे पास है नंबर वन पे मतलब वन मैं नहीं कहता तो शीला आस मोहम्मद की है हमेरा की है मोहम्मद हनीफ साहब हैं सदफ आबिद हैं हबीफा शहजाद हैं आयशा अमरीन तबस्म नूर मलिक एंड सोबिया कम ऐसा ही है जी सर और और भी और भी नाम है आप वो जो स्पेसिफाइड जो स्पेसिफाइड हमारे नंबर थे नंबरिंग की हुई थी हमने कि वन टू थ्री वन पे कौन है मुझे पता है मैं उनका शेयर करूं जी सर सॉरी मैं एक मिनट ओपन कर लूं मैं जी सर सबसे पहले इंट्रोडक्शन आपने दिया था हनीफ साहब को हनीफ साहब के ओपन कर लेते हैं ठीक हो गया ठीक हो गया हनीफ साहब आर यू देयर इन क्लास यस सर आई एम देयर ओके वेलकम मैं शेयर कर रहा हूँ आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन तो इसके साथ ही फिर आप तैयारी पकड़ें और अल्लाह का नाम लेके शुरू हो जाएं इंट्रोड्यूस करवाना अपने काम को ये हनीफ साहब का है हनीफ साहब आप देख सकते हैं यस सर आई कैन सी इट क्वाइट क्लियरली ओके तो बिस्मिल्लाह कीजिए शुरू कीजिए बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम दिस इज मोहम्मद हनीफ एंड गिविंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन टू डॉक्टर इजाज अहमद तत्ला माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन द ऑन एन आर्टिकल which is titled language and identity in linguistic ethnography and i am to present its introduction its summary its introduction well uh, with regard to linguistic ethnography for its introduction this is uh, the first slide well the study the study of language and identity the study of language and identity from the perspective of linguistic ethnography uh, this topic uh, received attention just during the last decade it means this is not a decades old topic and it's not a decades old topic it's a rather recent uh, you know field which has received the attention of linguists and in the next slides i will tell the difference between language and identity because these are the key words in the topic and also linguistic ethnography well uh, in this uh, slide uh, the definition of language as you can see at the top is uh, the word language i'll give its definition uh, not from technical point of view this definition has come from in carter dictionary and it's 
in non technical language in layman's words language is uh, as you can see the human use of spoken or written words as a communication system it means when we interact with someone else whether we speak the words or write down the words on a piece of paper or print it this way of communicating with other people is called language and in the topic the other word is identity in the next slide the word is identity well what does identity means identity means the essential character that identifies us or something it means uh, the essential character with which a person or a thing is defined that is uh, someone's identity for example we are pakistanis when we go overseas when we meet somebody um, overseas or when somebody talks to you they find they will recognize our identity because we belong to pakistan in the same way when someone tells us that uh, i am uh, an american or i am a british person or i belong to saudi arabia so their identity will be known to us within seconds because it is their essential character which identifies them to us or introduces them to us this is called identity and the next slide is uh, well language and identity in the in the previous slides i defined the word language separately and identity separately now there is uh, uh, is there any is there any relationship and uh, connection between language and identity in these slides i'll tell what is the relationship between language and identity well the first uh, difference in the very first point you can see language not only expresses identities but also constructs them it means language uh, in the first place language expresses our identity when we speak a certain word or a certain sentence uh, with someone so our language identifies who we are our language determines who we are for example if you speak to someone who is from saudi arabia and they speak to you in arabic language it means they are arabic has identified who the speaker is in the same way when you speak to someone who speaks british, british english of course their identity will be revealed through the language they use so it means uh, language reveals uh, our identities but also language in the second place constructs our identity as well the second point language and identity examines the interrelationships between language and identities well this topic of language and identity it discusses and it examines what is the relationship between language and identities interrelationship means they are relationship among them themselves and number 3 point is language is not simply an assortment of words assortment pin collection of words for example when i say that uh, i saw i saw a bird flying in the air this is a collection of words so this is an assortment of words so language is not simply a collection of words or an assortment of words also uh, it is uh, an identity that connects an individual to their family their identity culture music beliefs and wisdom so it means uh, on the one hand language is a collection of words which we utter with our mouths but on the other hand language connects us to our family because our family also uses the same language as we and also it builds and constructs our identity it tells us who we are and it our language connects us to our culture and uh, music and beliefs and wisdom these things are related to i mean language so it means language has dual function on the other hand language is a collection of words on the other, on the one hand on the other hand it reveals our identity our family our culture etc well uh, in the next slide you can see um, we, now once again relationship is uh, being discussed 
what is the relationship between language and identity this slide the first point says without language no culture can sustain its identity uh, i mean uh, if there is a uh, a society there is a nation a group of people who can't speak their language who don't use their language of course they won't be able to maintain their identity so it means nations continue and maintain their identity through language and the next point is our language is actually our identity so it means language uh, reveals our true character uh, well when you are when you will speak uh, uh, persian language uh, or uh, uh, british language or an, another language of course the speaker will understand what your uh, power is and the point number 3 is language is a social uh, phenomenon i have given its uh, pronunciation in uh, you know uh, from the dictionary language is a social phenomenon it means uh, is a well language is used in society it is implied in society and language has two basic functions language plays two roles in society on the one hand communication it means through language we communicate with our fellow beings for solidarity purpose for business purpose for any other purpose and on the other hand language the second function of language is identity it reveals our identity and it tells who we are and the last point here is language can be a means of solidarity resistance and identity within a culture it means uh, with our fellow beings family and friends or with anyone we might use language for building a rapport for building good uh, relationship and also we use language for for the sake of resistance to resist the wishes of other person who simply can say no to someone else by using words and also we use language to build our identity with a culture it means uh, when i speak uh, punjabi with my own parents with my own chums from my own area uh, i mean i built my own identity i uh, i familiarize myself with the members in my own culture uh now we have uh, so far we have discussed the relationship between language and identity the third important term in the summary and in the well in the summary and the title is linguistic ethnography now i move to the next slide linguistic ethnography <clears throat> linguistic mean uh, uh, linguistic the word has come from linguistic ethnography ethnography means ethnography means the scientific description of different races and cultures so there these two terms if we combine them and ponder upon their meaning so it means linguistic ethnography means the study of language involving races and cultures it means linguistic ethnography refers to a situation where we study language uh, and uh they are speakers they are race and their culture as well this is called linguistic ethnography now uh, the first the very first point uh, in the slide is uh, in linguistic ethnography the very first point says that linguistic ethnography its abbreviation is le is a relatively new term is a new concept in the domain of linguistics and the concept of linguist ethnography it originated recently in the united kingdom uh, and number 3 point is linguistic ethnography uh, well these were, were two points uh, with regard to its background now its definition is coming what is linguistic ethnography linguistic ethnography holds that to a considerable to a considerable degree language and the social world Uh, mutually shaping uh, i have given the definition of uh, uh, social world sure social world mean the immediate milieu of the individuals being studied it means uh, the environment of the people who are being studied who are being discussed who are being examined is called social 
uh, world. So it means uh, uh, when we see that language and the immediate environment of speakers, they are mutually shaping. They are uh, mutual. They mutually define each other. This is called linguistic ethnography. Whenever we study the relationship between language uh, in the environment of the speakers, this is called linguistic ethnography. And uh, its uh, our second definition uh, is uh, the term linguistic ethnography. It captures a uh, growing body of research by scholars. Um, well, if you want to simplify the definition, you can read that the term linguistic ethnography combines, leave out the you know, second line. Uh, the, ling the term linguistic ethnography combines linguistic and ethnographic approaches. So it means uh, when we combine uh, the skills of linguists and ethnographic approaches, it means uh, when linguists study uh, people uh, of different races and different cultures in their own atmosphere, in their own culture, when people study them over, uh, an, over uh, a prolonged period of time, in order to understand how social and communicative process, processes operate in a range of settings and contexts. So when linguists, when uh, you know, experts of language study language in, in, in the atmosphere of a certain ethnography, uh, in their own culture, in their own context, in their own setting, this is called linguistic ethnography. And uh, sir, this is from my side. Thank you very much. Good, well done, well done, Hanif. Let's have a uh, big round of applause, class. Jointly, let's have a big round of applause for Mr. Hanif. Thank you, sir. He has uh, presented in a very well manner and uh, in depth discussion up to his uh, extent and knowledge on the basis of. Uh, I am going to uh, share the next one. Uh, I shall. Sir, so the next topic, uh, ontologies and epistemologies, was given to Ali Asher, but she is not well. She sent me a message that uh, she won't be able to present, but she has prepared the slides. Ali Asher, then uh, Ali Asher, to class me hai, uska show ho raha hai. Ji, ab mera khayal hoga, agar wo baat karne ho, Ali Asher. Ji, Ali Asher. Sir, meri video is khayab hai, aur maine slides nahi dali hai. It's okay, no problem. Take care of yourself. Thank you, sir. Get well soon. Uh, G, uh, Aisha, next on it. Aisha. Sir, next. Gigi, sir. Uh, next, Sadaf Fabid, language and identity in late modernity. Gigi, I'm going to download and present it. In the meantime, the two or three minutes gap is in the gap. If you have a question, Hanif Sahib, कोई उनकी प्रेजेंटेशन पे कमेंट करना हो कोई कहना हो कुछ तो यू आर वेलकम क्लास इज इनवाइटेड टू कमेंट आस्क से समथिंग अबाउट मिस्टर हनीफ प्रेजेंटेशन एंड द मटेरियल आयशा आपने किन का कहा था सदा फाबिद है सदा फाबिद ठीक है मैं डाउनलोड कर रहा हूं Meantime, करें ना कमेंट आप लोग चुप क्यों बैठे हो बात करें उन पे अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम अस्सलाम हमारे मौजूद है जी जी मैडम सर आई हैव बीन नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द लास्ट क्लास बिकॉज़ मैं ठीक नहीं थी तो आज व्हेन आई वाज लिसनिंग टू सर हनी ही हैज लाइक प्रेजेंटेड इन अ वेरी वेरी वेल मैनर्ड और बहुत ही अच्छा एक्सप्लेन किया है थैंक यू सो मच or I hope so that uh, other presenters is also like uh, get to the same domain. And inshallah, inshallah. Ethnography is, <coughs> ethnography is now very much clear. Thank you, thank you. Good. Ji, Sada Fabid. Assalamu alaikum. You can see language and identity and linguistic ethnography. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Okay, okay. Please start. 
now we will discuss language and in late modernity first of all we need to know that what is modernity in fact modernity refers to a particular industry it is an era characterized by scientific thought rather than metaphysical or supernatural beliefs individualism a focus on industrialization and technical development rejection of some traditional values uh, we can say that approximately after 16 it was started and um, modernity is a particular era and it uh, it is a wide variety of terms like social life driving force as we can see in the given definition and um, uh, as we all know the uh, new philosophy comes um, in terms of the previous one and definitely uh, rejects the previous ideas so uh, it also rejects some traditional as well it is basically divided into two parts post modernity and late modernity here we will discuss the late definition of late modernity is given on the next slide the term late modernity stands for a number of very influential material and ideological shifts many of which are connected to processes and products of globalization summarizes the different ways that issues of language culture and ethnic identity have been explored over time for example through the perspectives of deficit difference dominance and discords and provides a useful overview of interactional sociological sociologist as a field of study uh, it is also known as liquid modernity and highly globalized society in fact a uh, late modernity posed a lot of changing in the society so these uh, changings become the uh, center of interest of researchers so uh, these changings uh, include socio economic changes institutional changes cultural changes and changes and uh, have mentioned that these uh, include the information revolution associated with rapidly changing socio economic network like the social network was changing rapidly and um, the second one was intensification of cultural and diversification and which was leading towards a growing complexity and unpredictability of the way social life is arranged so these two uh, basic changings were uh, those attract the um, attention of researchers so according to some uh, critics next slide please uh, according to some critics in the light of these changings yes sir are you asking for this slide ideological shift or next one yes sir no this one okay so sir according to uh, these changings uh, some critic consider that they should reposition themselves like this nation uh, nations uh, should reposition themselves like one state one culture and one language and this idea also support the ideological framework of modern nationalism and uh, here we need to know what is ideology the the changing bring the idea of one state uh, like the people should follow one culture like their uh, their livelihood living hood dress norms and ideology should be similar and have a specific identification and uh, on the opposite uh, on the other hand we can say that some said that gives um okay uh, it tied to particular ethno national communities towards a new emphasis on multilingualism so different critics explain it in different perspectives as they consider um and more specifically 
you can say that researchers are analytical interesting away from the nominative institutional frameworks of action in fixed time space towards the translocal transcultural and translingual practices and what are these first of all we need to know about these so translocal connects and influence different localities and people at the same time transcultural relating to or involving more than one culture and translingual perspective is what are the aspects of language that are relevant in more than one language so now researchers focus all these things instead of the fixed space time location and here we can also say linguistics and culture practices are no longer examined in the old perspectives like abstract standard languages uniform views of uh, speakers and stable group identities now they are focusing on linguistic repertoire like what is this a stuff of skills types of behavior that a person have are uh, in more detail we can say that language ideology and uh, repertoire we may say that it's a set of beliefs or feelings about language as used in their social worlds and uh, through this what we assess the social uh, space symbolic resources and materialities and uh, some of them also criticize on it and uh, two basic Them, like we can, uh, two points we can see here. That the first one is it rely on an analytical method, and the second one is sir, uh, criticism. Previous one, or next one. I think so. You have uh, explained the previous one. No, okay. Carry on. Okay. So the uh, criticism on it is it rely on analytical method, uh, and the second one it is perspective conceptualize context as a set of backgrounding texts. Like researcher can impose or uh, can include uh, his own thinking and his own ideas. and it can be uh, biased or uh, uh, we can say not that much reliable as it should be that's why uh, there is uh, criticism on it but after a lot of criticism we can say that it has a lot of significance like the combination of linguistic and ethnography approaches provide a more nuanced angle like such approaches allow us to document empirically the ways in which social actors negotiate meaning and strain in response to the increasing uncertainty discontinuity and lack of sharedness that is brought about by the institutional social economic socio linguistic and cultural condition of late modernity and we can say that uh, it is also important because of analyzing local uncertainty and instability as to capture the wider institutional and socio economic process of change tied to late modernity has been particularly evident in linguistic and ethnographic research in educational settings so to conclude the matter that uh, we may say that we have uh, discussed the changings uh, which the late modernity bring and uh, the researchers more focus nowadays is on these uh, changings like the changings in the real world and shift of attention in the social sciences uh these uh, two dimensions have been discussed thank you good well done sada fabid uh what portion of this article were uh, you uh, sharing here
So this, may I know the portion you discussed here uh, of the provided article? Sir, ontologies and epistemologies. Okay. हमारे पास अभी सिर्फ दो मिनट हैं ये सेशन खत्म होने में इसको सेव करके फिर दोबारा रीजॉइन करने में हमें दस से दस मिनट लगते हैं अभी एक मिनट में आपने कोई इस पे कमेंट करना है क्वेश्चन करना है तो प्लीज और मेन टाइम मुझे आयशा बता दें नेक्स्ट थर्ड कौन है वालेकुम असल Sir, this is Amna Parvez. Ji, Amna. Sir, I want to appreciate both of the presenters. Both presented very well. Sir, if I talk about uh, Sir Hanif's presentation, although his topic was just to introduce or a definition of language identity and linguistic ethnography, but he explained in very well manner and very deeply study. So we come to know what his topic is gonna about. So, sir. appreciated both of the thank presenters thank you aapka bhi shukriya ki aapne himmat ki aur jo truth words hain wo leke aaye that's good thank you thank, thank you, you sir sir i really appreciate both of them and best of luck for the rest of the presenters ji sir may i submit something sure sure sir actually uh, the appreciation of a student is actually the appreciation of the teacher it is all uh-huh. due to the yeah. teacher because of you your uh, sympathy your kindness your constant guidance and your encouragement has enabled us to reach uh, somewhere by all due to sir your effort my player and my player sir. i am thoroughly with all of you or uh, really i am happy to listen both of you mujhe jo ek कॉन्सेप्ट क्लास के बारे में था वो थोड़ा चेंज भी हो रहा है मेरे ख्याल में था कि सिर्फ कुछ लोग ही हैं जो बात कर सकते हैं बाकी स्लीपिंग पार्टनर है मेरा ख्याल ऐसा नहीं होगा इनशाला सब लोग अच्छा पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे तो